we've got lots of wet on the screen. One minute. Lots of wet. That's better. Good morning, guys. How's it going? Welcome to the worst possible weather day in Brighton that we could be having right now. It's <laughs> raining heavy, it's cold, and it's not the best. Ooh. Plus, we've got a semi, semi poorly, semi all right ish Esme right now today. So, it's not been the best of morning so far. We didn't have the best of night. Whoa, what happened there? We were like, whoa, whoa, and let's not do that again. We didn't have the best of nights last night. Esme was poorly kind of most of the night, waking up with a fever, having to give her some drugs. Isla randomly woke up in the middle of the night with a terrible nightmare that she was crying about and just generally couldn't sleep very well. So it just wasn't the best of nights, so we've kind of, the day started a little bit later than we wanted it to. Anyway, basically, long story short, Esme is okay this morning now. She says she's feeling much better in herself, Esme? Yeah. Right, darling? Yeah. Are you feeling a bit better today now? Yeah, the only problem is now is my throat. Every time I swallow, it really hurts. Yeah, but you're no fever? No. No, she's not had a fever since about 6 o'clock this morning now, and so she's, she's doing much better. It's currently about 12.30 right now. What? Look at the shot. <gasps> Ooh, that looks... Really, really nice. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Fudge up. Look at that caramel. I don't actually, I'm not keen on fudge. I don't know why I'm getting so Why, excited. why do I one. remember like when that we like first fudge. got together being really into fudge? No, you was. Yeah. I wasn't. I think it's a taste I've dropped out of recently. And but this one. Look at this one, Dad. These do look oh, really good. Oh, they've got all sweets. Oh, it's oh. like an old sweet shop too. <laughs> Might have to visit this on the way back down. Anyway, so like I was saying, it's not been, I've just stepped in a puddle, oh my gee, which has gone up to my ankle. Nice one. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, yeah, it's not been the best of starts today, but it's all good, we're about to recover it. We're on our way right now to Dumb Dumb Donuts. Dang something that we've been very excited and has been number one on our bucket list to do in Brighton. So we're on our way to do that now. If we find it, we're going down the back street right now. I think we're going the right way, but not 100% sure. Dum 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 dum. We found it. Donut. <laughs> that looks amazing. Oh, the day is made. The day is saved. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yo. Yeah. This looks so good. <gasps> Girls, look at them. statement these donuts look so delicious and they even do mini selection ones for children which is just so cute I am very excited but the only problem is there's way too many in here and I've got no idea how I'm going to choose Okay, so we've got in quite a selection here. We've got a couple of hot drinks coming and we've got a few donuts for that. We've got a strawberry cheesecake, which looks mega. We've got a, what's this one, a blueberry uh, cream. Blue, yeah. Looks really good. Which one did you get, Zay? Uh, um, the strawberry ring. It looks really nice. It's so nice, it tastes really like strawberry strong, like strong. Good basically, yeah. Mm. And then we got a massive selection of every cronut basically. We got one of each. If I can open to the box to take away, yeah. Because we've got a really long train journey home tonight, and we thought that's gonna make it pass nicely. <laughs> oh yeah. I get this open. Oh now you're talking. They look so so good. Oh that looks Blue very, very nice. Oh my god, it tastes so yummy. <laughs> So the girls didn't want a donut today, or a cronut, so they've gone for some nice juicy ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling? I'm not trying to have one, Of course you can, darling, yes. Are you good? Is that nice ice cream? <laughs> yeah? Esme? Is that lovely? How are you yeah. feeling, baby? Good. Yeah? <laughs> You're looking a bit worse for wear, darling. You've got them poorly <laughs> eyes going on, you know, like Isla had. Yeah. But as long as you're feeling a little bit better, that's good. Bless my little boo-boo, she's got a really sore little nose at the minute. All the skin underneath, above her lip and around her nose. Do you want to taste my donut, Isla? Yes, please. Is it that good? <laughs> yum, yum. Mm. Mm. That is really good. So we just left Dum Dums, it was absolutely delicious. Not only did, it, did they do yummy donuts, but 
that latte was absolutely divine. We've also got some cronut to take home with us and have on the train if we're hungry. Or if not, we'll just take them back home. Have we lost a child? No, we haven't. <laughs> Come on, Esme. So we're just walking down now through these little streets, which are so cute. I wish we had more time to explore them all and I wish the weather was a bit better, but it's really cold and really rainy, so not really an ideal time to be shopping. But we're just wandering through them all now. It's absolutely adorable. It's so lovely around here. And we're just heading down to Brighton Pier because I know we've got some iFam down there tweeting us. Oh my goodness, if we thought it was cold in those little streets where the shops were, we were wrong. That is nothing compared to the bitter wind and the rain hitting your face when you're out here on the seafront. Well, that sea's looking a bit choppy today. Look that big in the camera, but trust guys, they're big. So, we're just on the pier right now in the little arcade bit, and we've met so many of you guys. I have in front of me right now two members of our iFam that have been iFam for ages. I remember doing a live with you when we had a, not that many subscribers. So, we've got Charlie and Ellie, and check out Ellie's bag. <laughs> Oh, 
look how super cute this place looks. It looks so nice and festive everywhere. It is, I'm really sad that we have to, like, our time's come to an end here and it hasn't quite gone to plan like we wanted it to, but it is a really good excuse to come back in the summer though and experience it properly because Brighton is so cute. It is full of so many cute little shops, shops restaurants, just little cute things to explore everywhere. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I definitely want to come back here in the summer and spend some more time here. Spend a good few days here and properly experience it all in the sunshine. What was, what was that? No doubt. <laughs> no. Oh dear. <laughs> Well that was a bit of a busy couple of hours, we finally made it to King's Cross, we got on the Gatwick Express from Brighton up to Victoria and there was some sort of signalling problem so the train took like double the time it usually takes. So we had planned to then get off of the train, go for dinner and then take a, a leisurely mooch over to King's Cross to catch our train back up to Leeds and unfortunately that's all that time has been taken away from us because we were stuck on the Gatwick Express because of the delay. So. Um, so, hi, how's it going? Yeah, so we've just made it to King's Cross with the skin, by the skin of our teeth, basically. So, we've got like 10 or 15 minutes before we need to be back on the train up to Leeds. So, Sarah's just nipped over the way to grab us a quick bite to eat and a drink, and then we're going to get on the train and have a bit of a hoosa for the next two hours. There's me, come here, baby. Come here, darling. Come here, bless my little skeggle. Oh, she's feeling super rubbish, are you, baby? Yeah, I've never seen Esme like this before, literally, I was just saying on the train to Sarah, I don't think we've ever seen Esme poorly, like, ever like this. When she's poorly, even Esme battles it. Thanks, baby. Esme even battles it every single day and, like, says, I'm fine, I'm fine, even though, like, her leg might be hanging off. She's still, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Obviously, I don't mean literally her leg might be falling off, but... <laughs> she's absolutely cabbage. She doesn't want to eat anything. She doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to talk to anybody. Bless you, sweetheart. We'll be home soon and in bed. Okay. I always Somehow. go to bed even if it's five o'clock when we get. Oh, I mean, sorry. If it's like really early, I'm sorry. Hey, it won't be done. It'll be late. Yeah. <laughs> it will be late for definite. But yeah, so. We're gonna get past yesterday. I don't think someone will be going to school tomorrow, yeah. but we'll see. Because it's the first day back to school tomorrow. Um. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna grab some food and we'll catch you on the train. All right, so we're a little after halfway through our journey home on the train right now. I've just been editing up today's video, try and get that done before I get home, and I just reached down onto the floor to pick up my bag from Dum Dums today. <laughs> I was so excited when we bought this this afternoon for this very train journey. And now that I'm on the train and we've eaten kind of dinner, we've eaten like what we bought in the train station at King's Cross, I'm super not hungry for these. And I'm really gutted about that because I've been looking forward to them all day. But if I know if I eat them now, I'm not going to enjoy it that much, so I'm going to save these for tomorrow. But one thing. I do have to show you guys, it's today that we had the honour of meeting so many of you guys, so many of you guys, and one of the things I want to show you tonight, this from Ellie, which is one of our fan accounts on Instagram called Juicy Inghams, she's made us this incredible card, which I absolutely love, there's some amazing messages inside it, from Ellie and from loads of you guys too, a couple of people that Ellie's asked me to shout out would be Eleanor, Kira, Phoebe, Karma, Lacey, and all of the Mature Cheeses, one of our iPhone groups on Instagram. Mature cheeses. Mature cheeses, I love that. Oh, and Alicia too. Thank you guys so, so much. Let me have a look here. So Ellie's friend Scarlett wanted to come today as well, but unfortunately she wasn't able to make it. Her Instagram is Pink Ingham Pineapples. If you want to check that out, guys. And we've got an also an Instagram account for, from Eleanor. Uh, hers is called ifam.extras, so go and show some ifam love on them Instagram accounts and check them out. I also have a very, very cute card from Lucy that we met today as well. And she's written some very, very kind things in it. She gave us all a card and they're just absolutely lovely. We've just opened them and smiled a very lot. So thank you very much, Lucy. Anyway, they will be going in my special memory box that we put all of our amazing things that we receive from you guys in. Anyway, right now we've got everybody very engrossed in phones and iPads right now. We've got Esme right next to me. Feeling a little bit better, right babe? Yeah. 
watching some YouTube. Isabel's also watching some YouTube. Anna's also watching some YouTube. <laughs> Very, very cute. Anyway, we've got about an hour before we end up back in Leeds, so catch you back when we get there. And we're home. Just got home. This minute, got two little girls getting ready for bed. We got Daddy one said, mummy trying to convince Isla that it's okay that she's the only one going to school tomorrow. Oh, I know, boo boo. I'm so guess sorry. What I'm but get. guess what she's going to get now? She's happy. It's, um, an attendance. Certificate. That's right. At the end of term for a hundred percent if you don't have any days off. Yeah. That's so right. That's made her feel a bit happy, and maybe a slight bribe, a slight bribe of a Milky Way bear. <laughs> Can you remember how horrible it was though, especially after holidays when nobody wants to go back to school anyway, and then you know that both your sisters are not going back, but you are. Like Isabel doesn't go back until next week. And obviously Esme's actually got tonsillitis, we found out tonight. She's got gross looking TMI, but cottage cheese looking tonsils. <laughs> so she needs a doctor's tomorrow. So she needs a doctor's tomorrow, but yeah, Mrs. Ann is going to go. But she's happy now, she knows she's getting her attendance certificate. That's a very cute lol doll. Did you leave him behind by accident? Did you leave her behind by accident? <laughs> Oh my goodness, Isla. <laughs> You're not ready for bed. Anyway, Missy Moo, we've just downstairs my Alexa up with some nice cow Paul. Yeah. Are you feeling okay, darling? Yeah. Yeah. This is my throat really hurts. I know, baby. We'll go to the doctor's first thing, get you some proper medicine and get you better. <laughs> I hope it's not banana medicine. It probably will be banana medicine because when we're little, that's what we have to have, unfortunately. <laughs> it will be banana medicine. You'll have to suck it up and, and get it through it. And drink water after. And drink lots of water afterwards, yeah. <laughs> But guess what? Tomorrow is a big clean in the house and sorting day, so you will have to chip in and do lots of cleaning and sorting, as you're not going to school. You best just confirm that that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that is a joke, guys. I'm only kidding. Esme will be resting up and watching lots of lol dolls all day tomorrow, no doubt, and probably Horrid Henry too. And you're going to have a bed day tomorrow and get you hey, better. Hey, you're able to make a on her reading, her Horrid Henry books she got for Christmas. Oh, yeah. That's a cool idea, Esme. That's yeah. a really cool idea. Right then, where is my little Isabel Sophia? Let's go send a night to Isabel before we cut all the lights, kick back and get to bed. It's so nice to be in your own house. I never want our travels to end, like literally traveling is what I live for. And when we're traveling, I find everything more easier. I find life easier, I find vlogging easier, I find editing, I find everything in life just easier than I do when we're at home. And saying that, so I never want our adventures to end, ever, but I mean, I don't want them to end anyway for obvious reasons. I love being out making memories with everybody and who doesn't, right? But coming home, I never ever want to get home when we're out traveling, but coming home tonight feels really, really nice. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm loving my house right now. You okay, baby girl? Yeah. It's very dark blue in here. Yeah. Oh, babe, I'm telling you now, I know you're not going back to school for a fair few days yet, but I've got some work to do in this bedroom tomorrow, man. I know. It's a bit of a mess. We literally got home from Forest Holidays, dumped all our stuff, went straight to London. So we've got some stuff to do tomorrow, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to set up my Bluetooth water beats. Yeah, man, you've got all your cool Christmas things to set up now at home. Tomorrow, I think we're going to have like a. We're going to have a home post Christmas sorting, cleaning day like for a Boxing day. Kind of like a. Late, a sort of, yeah, extremely, yeah. extremely late Boxing day. Kind of, yeah, something like that. We've got to go to <laughs> Ikea tomorrow though as well and pick up a ton of storage boxes for the house because all of our Christmas decorations are due to go away. They're probably not going to go away tomorrow. Maybe we'll make a start on it tomorrow, I don't know, but we need to go pick up a load of really big storage containers for them all to go in. So I'm looking forward to that actually. Yeah. That'll be quite good and we're going to have a really good home sorting day. But don't worry, it's not going to be boring. It's going to be lots of fun. Very, very fun indeed. Anyway, Isabel Sophia, give me a kiss, babe. I love you very much. Good night. Good night, okay. baby girl. You get some good sleep tonight, okay? Yeah, I will. Two minutes and then sleep. Peace, deal. Nice Peace one. Up. Peace. Good night, gorgeous. Bye, love you. Love you too, baby. And on that note, guys, we're going to kick back, get these clothes off, and get into bed and put on some Bates Motel, right? We haven't watched Bates Motel for like two weeks now. I am very excited to get stuck back into that series now we're home and it's done. I just also want to say a massive, massive thank you for the comments on tonight's vlog. I am. Um, I was blown away reading them on the train on the way home. I replied to a few, but Signal kept dropping, so I couldn't reply to all. But all the comments and all your love and support saying that you can't wait for our travels in 2018 just made me so happy and really, really excited. 
And on that note, guys, it's time to say goodnight. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to come back at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, because it's gonna be good. Until then, good night, good night guys.